Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Magical Diary Horse Hall. I'm Lady Shira. And I am Trine Morning. And last time we put on the protective gear, so that's why I have 69 red now. I have a lot more because it upped my red. Yes, it did. Um, so, and I want to sleep too, so I'm going to do gym. We're going to do one every week, I think, now, so I can be stronger. Yeah, if that's what you feel like. It's um, up to you. I'm going to do red to get to 70. I'm going to sleep. And then I'm going to do a green to get to 40. And then I'll just do it white. Whatever. All right. Let's okay. See. If you're set on that. I am set. Is Kyo going to be here again? Does he just like hang out in the gym all day? That's the only class where you see him. But it's not all the time you take gym. Okay. I just happen to tell you to take them when he's going to do something. After classes, all the students are called together in the gym. I was just here, people. How convenient. There's a table on the stage containing a row of brightly colored candles. No, there isn't. Of which only one at the end <laughs> is lit. I love how you point out their flaws. I know. Today we are here to recognize outstanding Iris Academy seniors, the best and brightest of our young people. With I'm sure a horse is going to be on that list. Into the Magical Honor Society. No, it says seniors. I can't be on it. Well, even if she was a senior, I'm sure she'd be on that <laughs> list. Very sarcastic. Hey, look at how awesome my red skills are. Come on. But You're really smart, 42. All right, maybe. But what you should be most proud of is not the honor you received today, but the choices and the sacrifices you have made that led you to this point and to points beyond. <laughs> there sounds like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> oh god, I thought it was going to be E.T., but it's not. A life well lived is its own reward. It's the second time I've seen something like that today. What? That line. Oh, okay. As seniors, you stand as shining examples to those who will follow you. Therefore, as I call your names, please come up to the stage and take one of these candles to pass on the light. Okay, why do I have to be here for this? Well, I'm not the whole school it. has to see it. Why do I have to see it? You have to honor the honors. She lists off a number of seniors. William and Isabel are among them, but Damien is not. Well, Each takes the Damien candle. Damien, I wouldn't take as being a honor society student. He doesn't no, seem like he's very uh, honorable. No. Each takes the candle that has been most recently lit and touches it to the next candle in line, passing the flame. We had this, like, award ceremony in high school, and you weren't invited if you didn't win anything. They're just rubbing it in our faces here. I know. All my friends would get invited, and I wouldn't. It was really sad. Sucks for you. And one more student who deserves special recognition for her hard work and creative thinking in, in proposing a new theory behind the Icarus effect, Angela Kirsch. No, not Angela. Come on. Angela walks up to the stage, all smiles, and I hear Ellen grinding her teeth beside me. I wonder what's on her mind. Yeah, why is Ellen mad? That's weird. Did Ellen actually come up with the Icarus theory or whatever? Well, this is actually a different, um, this is still grabbing her scenario on, so uh, maybe events played out differently maybe. that one week, but we weren't at the mall, so we didn't see it. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Each one of you has a calling in life. You set your own goals and strive to achieve them. Your goals are yours alone, and what is easy for you may not be for others. Whatever you do, never crush someone else's dream, for then you can be sure that you are not working towards your own. Well After said. that speech, we are dismissed with the candles still burning. And they burn down the school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, here, are you ready? We're going to yeah, get sure. 70. Oh, wait. Oh, what's what? this? What? I don't even get to learn my 70? Gravener. When we arrive at the classroom, the only sign of Professor Gravener is two words written on the blackboard in large white letters. Free, period. I'm nice. so angry. How am I supposed to get to 70? We wait a few minutes just in case it's a prank, but he still doesn't turn up. I guess this class is canceled for the day. I probably should have mentioned that. Yeah, he, there is a class where um, it's not held to get a choice to study or sleep. I did not know that. Or and relax, I'm already I sleeping suppose. tomorrow, so I might as well just... I should have it. told you about that. I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks a lot. I forgot to look it up. Oh, and I failed what? my studying? Are you freaking kidding me? That is so me? ridiculous. Um, I think that's a man, right? I think it's going to be a female. Really? Yeah. Oh, Horace. Oh. oh. I thought it might have been Minnie. Uh, might whatever. I borrow you for a bit? What is it? Oh my god, she just looks so ridiculous with that tiara, and I'm thinking about her long arm. <laughs> I'm afraid dear Hieronymus is a bit under the weather, and I'm sure you can imagine what a terrible patient he makes. <laughs> Could I trouble you to carry up some soup from the kitchens to his room? It has to be done by hand or it might spill. What? Why? Well, can't you use magic to just, like, teleport it? I know teleport. Come on. Fine. I'll bring it up to him. Of course I'll help. Good girl. Ew. Before I know it, I'm loaded down with instructions. How to reach the kitchens, which soup is which soup in which china he prefers, how to arrange silverware properly on a tray, and most nerve-wracking of all, how to enter Professor Grabner's personal rooms. What, is it complicated? 
Is I don't there a know. password? Maybe he has Whoa. like traps set up. Damn, he has a girly room. Yeah, seriously. Which is where I find myself now. You. Everyone says that to me. What are you doing here? Why aren't you laying in bed? Why are you reading a book? At any other time, he would have bellowed and I would have jumped and spilled the soup and things would have only gone worse from there. But as it is, I was expecting something like this and it seems that he doesn't actually have the energy to scream at me. Professor Potsdam sent me with your soup. Very well. Um, where should I put the tray? That desk over there. I don't see a desk. But you have papers on it. He raises an eyebrow and says nothing. Very Mr. Spock. Fine, I suppose he knows what papers should and shouldn't have soup on them. I put the tray down. He crosses the room and sinks into the desk chair, the fringe of his cape swirling up and collapsing like a sigh. This <laughs> close, I can see the hair clinging to his skin. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Is there anything else I can do for you? You can leave me in peace. Fine, I'm going. Wait. I appreciate what you've done for me. However, I would prefer that it were not necessary. I am not accustomed to having students in my rooms. I prefer my privacy. I'm not a student. I'm your wife. Yes, sir. I guess I can understand that. I hope you feel better soon. I will be fine. Now go. At least I survived my trip into the dragon's den. <laughs> the dragon's den, how appropriate. Psst, so dumb. <sighs> I'm so mad about my red magic. Couldn't he have just taught it to me there? Come on, I just need one point. Just one, please. I know. Damn it. Ooh. Well, at least you learned uh, 50 magic for white. And I can now call animals. And Ooh, and a mind storm. Wait, did I earn... Wait, why did I have two? That's a combination of white and red. Oh. Oh, The target yes. is temporarily incapacitated with pain and terror. Wow. It's pretty messed up. Another free day. I guess I'll study again. Hopefully Minnie will still be here. Hopefully. Yes. Red magic. Yes! Minnie! Thank you, Minnie. Best. At last. But why'd she do that one? I thought she usually did the lowest one. That is very strange, actually. Maybe it is the lowest one without my thing. Oh, that could be it, too, because we do have... um. Yeah, that must be I forgot it. about that. It's messing with their stats. Yeah. I'm on my way to meet Minnie for a student council discussion when I hear voices up ahead. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Then that just proves you were right, doesn't it? If he really cared about you, he'd never think like that. But he did care. I know that voice, and I think I know who it is. I knew it! He'll get over it. There are plenty of girls. Thanks a lot, Jacob. <laughs> like, what the heck? So rude to say to her. There's plenty of girls. I'll get over you. He sees me coming and sweeps a little bow. Like Horace here. What? Uh, you wanted to see me? Yes. Jacob, you should go. We need to talk about the meeple ceremony. Sure. See you around. He winks at me and walks away. What a douche. Whoa! Is everything alright? Everything's fine. She takes a deep breath and fluffs out her hair. Next week, we'll be celebrating the meeple sap harvest. Are we gonna tap the trees? <laughs> no, we hold a pancake supper with a lot of syrup. Yum! There's just one problem. You can't attend. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> Horace. Why not? Minnie looks around the halls and pulls me into an empty classroom. Oh, we're always going to empty classrooms. <laughs> there should only be two classrooms. There's only two teachers. Oh, sorry, I had to be sure that no one was listening. The dinner is a ritual. The students are split up into groups. The boys serve the girls and the girls serve the boys. It's symbolic. I symbolic think of what? Intercourse? I think long ago yes pancakes symbolize intercourse now <laughs> and the <laughs> syrup the pancakes the syrup symbolizes something else well i yeah. think long ago that was the beginning of the traditional season of courting or something like that i meant the act of serving <laughs> okay even though that's obviously not how romance <laughs> works in modern times i'm gonna give you pancakes later but the thing is you're not allowed to sit with the girls because you're married see it's virtually improper oh those pancakes are serious business <laughs> And we can't tell New anyone. Hampshire. It's either New Hampshire or Wizards. I'm not sure which. <laughs> Definitely anyone New Hampshire. New Hampshire can tell us. Definitely New Hampshire. And we can't tell anyone why you're not there either. So you'll have to come up with some excuse. I'm sorry. <sighs> it's not your fault. It's not like I can't have pancakes some other time. <laughs> wow. 
Pancakes is a euphemism. <laughs> You're gonna have pancakes every freaking day. Come I on. just love pancakes. Oh God. Oh, that was that was amazing. All right, everyone. So, please join us next time in Magical Diary. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>